Hi sisters! So today I would like to teach you guys how to make Chinese style fried rice. So you need to prepare rice. So here is for two people to eat and it's about two cups. So I use this rice cup. So it's two cups of rice. So I cooked it and then after I cook it, you have to put it here like rest for two minutes because it's too wet if you put it here it will dry a little bit it will be perfect some of the people cook it the day before and then put it into the fridge and then dry it out they think it that it better but i think this is good enough <laughs> and then another thing is i prepare like here 20 shrimp and this is frozen i bought it from Winko, like this, and then I just use 20 pieces, that is good enough. Um, I used it white pepper and salt to marinate it. Another thing you have to prepare is the chicken. So you can use beef or pork, any meat you like that you can put into the fried rice. So I chose chicken. It is so fast to, so quick to be done. So that's, I really like to use. So I use soy sauce, sugar, salt, white pepper, and cornstarch to marinate it. Yeah, because I'm super lazy. So <laughs> most of the people, they will spend 15 minutes to marinate it, but I didn't, um, but I think it tastes fine. <laughs> And then I have some green onion. The green onion is super important to this dish. So you have to prepare a lot. So we love green onion. So I, I cut a lot. So it's, if you have two people, two cups of rice, this is good enough amount, okay? And then prepare two eggs and a little bit salt, like just a little bit, like one, two, that's all. And then use a fork. Use a fork. That is still. Then now we can start making it. Okay. So I use this port that I really like because it's non-stick. Non-stick is really important to fry rice. So and a little bit oil. What we have to do before we start to do fried rice is to make the chicken and the shrimp done first. So now I can add the shrimp inside. So if you see the color is changing to orange, that's me almost done. Don't overcook the shrimp. You don't need to turn off the heat, so we will use the same pan to cook the chicken. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So the chicken, I cut it like to be this size. That would be perfect. Then it will not be too big for, for your kids to eat it. So I use high, high heat to cook the shrimp and the chicken. So that is done. So I put back into the container. And then I will use kitchen paper to wipe it. And then add one tablespoon of oil. Add the oats. And then so quick to add the rice inside. This step is really have to be patient. You want to make sure the rice is not too wet. So when you see some of that is like a ball, just make sure Break it. Yeah, I'm sorry, my vocabulary is not too. <laughs> I don't know much. So, 
thank you for your patience. As you see, the eggs and the and the rice is like together, but it seems like still wet, right? So keep stirring it. So when you think this is not too wet, maybe you can try a little bit. Mmm, this is good. Then you can add back the shrimp and the chicken that you cooked it, but without the oil and the sauce. Keep stirring it. Because after you add the chicken, the rice will get back to wet again. So you have to be patient and keep stirring it. So at this point, add half teaspoon of the salt and then two teaspoons of soy sauce. So you have to around it and stir it. Now make sure to mix it well because if it isn't there will be some sport will be too salty and then some of the sport didn't have any taste. So after you mix it well, you can add my favorite ingredient. It's the green onion. Add all that. And then turn off the heat. Mix it well. Then it is done. Is that easy? Yeah, it can be super tired because you keep stirring it. It is super easy to make. Is that not wise? So I hope you guys will like it and let me know if you have any questions. So that's all. Thank you. Bye.